After eating lunch with Saber, we continue to train at the dojo. And before I know it's time for dinner already. I rest my tired body and take a bath to wash my sweat off. And when I go to the living room, dinner is prepared. I am a bit moved. It's, a n it's nice having dinner ready without me doing anything when I come home out of the bath. Imiya-kun, it's dinner time. What are you doing standing there like an idiot? Is it dementia? But, why does she have to say something that totally destroys the moment? Nothing. Dinner, right? I'll eat it gratefully. Where's Saber? Mm, I guess Saber-san went to Shiro's room. Didn't you see her? That's weird. She was here until a second ago. Maybe you two missed each other since this place is as complicated as a hotel. Alright, I'll go get Saber, so you should go to the bathroom again. The hair... Your hair isn't completely dry yet. So, it's as complicated <clears throat> as a hotel. You know, now that I think about it, it kind of is. Oh, you're right. Sorry. Then I'll leave Saber to you. I wave my hand to Tosaka and return to the hallway. As Tosaka says, the Yimiya house has many paths because of the aimless reconstruction. The worst one is the route to the bathroom. And it really is like a hotel a lot because you can get there from my room or from the living room. I enter the bathroom. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Please don't tell me. Please don't tell me what I th is what I think about to happen about to happen. Am I about to walk in on Saber doing her thing? I don't like hair dryer, so I'll, I'll use the towel I used the towel I used before. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. 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 We're doing this. In an instant. I forget everything that happened today. Shiro? I hear a voice. The figure in front of me is saying something. Seems you are here to take a bath again, but I am using it at the moment. It would be helpful if you could reserve yourself for now. She says so without hesitation. Uh, 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 uh. I have to explain. I know I have to explain to her that this is an accident, but my head is totally blank, dude. I don't think she cares. She comes from a time when you didn't have bathrooms. After all, this had enough impact to make me forget everything that happened today. S -s 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 Shiro, have you been in the bath too long? Even your ears are red. If you would like to cool down, you should go to the porch. Uh, yeah, I'll do so, but I have to apologize first. I look away from Saber and calm my pounding heart. This, this, this was an accident. I wasn't trying to look at you, your naked body. And no, no, I, I can't ask you for to give me from the moment we met like this. So you can get angry at me. I say so while trying to look down and calming myself the best I can. Saber thinks for a while. Shiro, please raise your head. Ah, uh, yeah. I raise my head as she tells me to. <laughs> what? What? Wait, wait, what? why are you still like that? It is nothing you should apologize for. I would like to say that there is nothing you should be worried about just from seeing something like my bare body. Uh, I, I have told you before, the servant's gender is meaningless. It seems you are in a panic because you saw my body as a woman. But I am a servant before I am a woman. So believe such consideration... So I believe such consideration is unnecessary. What? What is she saying? No, even if Saber herself says that, it doesn't change the fact that she's really feminine. Or could it be... I have an idea, but is it true? I'll ask, but don't tell me you're not embarrassed by seeing people... Embarrassed by people seeing your body. Why do I need to be embarrassed? I thought so. But even if she doesn't care, I'll definitely go insane. I'm sorry. Anyways, I'm going to apologize. If anything like this happens again, you can do what you want with me. 
Boy, that came out wrong. <laughs> that apology came out wrong. <laughs> Was that an apology or an invitation? I turn around 180 degrees and exit the dressing room awkwardly. Saber looks at me in her usual manner until I disappear. Well, that was interesting. Dinner ends. I think it was a normal dinner table for everyone except for me. As for me, I couldn't even sense the taste with the scene in the dressing room flickering in my mind over and over. It's cold. I opened the window by the porch and I was cooling my head off, but I'm done with that. I'll catch a cold if I keep doing this. Shiro, you were here. Uh, Saber, w w was there some business? I believe you have one and... I believe you have one and not me. I thought you were to learn magic from Reen at night. Oh. I hit my head. I, I totally forgot. Ah, thanks, I'll go right away. I run into the outbuilding and go to the second floor. I knock on the door of the guest room that Tosaka occupies. Um, is this going to be another one of those moments? I hope, I hope to God not. Shiro, it's fine. I don't have my hands free at the moment, so uh, just come in. Tosaka's voice comes back somehow without composure. Oh. Whoa, whoa she's... Sh <laughs> is she shooting up heroin? What the hell is going on right now? I didn't know this is why. I, I, is this the reason why she wanted all these complicated things? Because she wanted to make meth and shoot up heroin? The hell's going on here? As soon as I enter the room, I see Tosaka doing something very weird. Tosaka has something like a jewel in her hand and a syringe in the other and a handkerchief in her mouth. Can I ask, Tosaka? Foof. Foofun. Oh, 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 wait. Oh, wait. Do I have something to put in my mouth? Do I have something to put in my mouth? Jesus Christ. Phrasing, people. Phrasing. Foofun. <laughs> Saying that, Tosaka puts the needle into her arm. <laughs> I put, like, a beanie in my mouth. That was, like, the worst... The schmission I've ever made. She draws blood out of herself. Blah. <laughs> and takes the blood. She and taking the blood, she drips it one drop at a time onto the jewel and grasps the bloody jewel. Okay, she's gone now. Something like dizziness is dizziness passes by. I'm barely able to tell that it's the light of magical energy, but I don't know what to use for the thumbnail for this video. Naked Saber is a pretty great thumbnail, but then again, Rin shooting up would be really funny. <laughs> <sighs> Only three tenths after this much, I guess I'll have to do with the nine I have. Tosaka slumps her shoulders and puts the stone back into some kind of jewelry. Jewelry box! Jew! Jewelry! Tosaka, I'm here for your lesson, as promised. But first, I'm curious about what she was doing. Yeah, yeah, I, I was waiting. You were training your body with Saber during the day, right? Then you should train what's inside during the night. Tosaka seems happy, and she's more than ready to teach. Hmm, Saber said she wasn't any good at teaching, but I bet this one's the complete opposite. No, putting that aside. Well, what should we start with? I think you were saying you can only use the strengthening magic? Actually, could I ask you something before that? I'm curious. What were you just doing? It's dangerous to use needles on yourself, you know. Oh, that. I was just, you know, making magic bullets. The magics of my family are flow and conversion of power, so when I have enough to spare, I transfer my magical energy somewhere else. Hold on. What do you mean by magic bullet and transferring magical energy? Magic bullets are magic bullets. It's a bullet filled with magical energy. 
Haven't you ever heard that people's thoughts tend to go into jewels? In practice, jewels are easy to target to transfer magical energy into, but it seems my family is even more compatible with it than most. Transferring magical energy, well, for example, you have excess strength left over if you do nothing for the whole day, right? I'm storing that excess power in the jewels. So you keep on doing this for days, months, and years, and that turns the jewel themselves into magic. But then, the jewels have limited capacities and cannot control magical energy outside of me. The magical energy inside the jewels is just an ignition to instantly activate a large-scale magic. Uh, so you're putting magical energy into the jewels as backup? Backup? Hmm. Close, but not quite. I'm just filling up a single-use disposable backpack. So you mean you're temporarily expanding the hard disk? That's amazing! So you should be able to use as much magical energy as you want. Hard disk? I don't know what you're talking about, but it's not that useful. The magical energy I put into the jewel has died in that jewel's attribute, so its, it's use has become limited. I see. But I'm surprised. I didn't know you could save up magical energy like that. Why don't other Magi do something so useful? Well, saying that, the only other Magus I know is Kuritsugu. The ability to store magical energy is something outside yourself, and something outside yourself is unique. Even your strengthening is putting magical energy into something, right? Normally, whatever you put magical energy into changes in some way and uses up that magical energy. The effect of magic is instantaneous and not permanent, right? So my family does it in a way that isn't instantaneous, and we cleverly put magical energy into the jewel so that it's permanent, but other Magi can do the same thing with their bodies. That's the Magic Crest, the magic backup that all Magi have. Magic Crest. Oh, you mean the secret that a parent hands down to their child? I don't understand too well since I don't have one. Wait. What did you just say? What? Well, well I, I, I said I don't have this magical crest thing. I, I think father had one, but he never gave it to me. Tosaka gasps and then nods to herself. No wonder you're an amateur. So you're really doing things from the very beginning. Yeah, and I guess it can't be helped. Tosaka, haven't you realized that I don't have a magic crest? No way, I wouldn't have let you go out by yourself if I'd known. Well, it's true that I thought you were unskilled, but if you don't have a magic crest, you're not even a magus. She gives me a complaining look with a oomph. <laughs> but what is it? Her words have a warmness that sounds like relief, and it sounds as if she's envious that I'm not a magus. Oh, well, in that case, I'll explain, to you, I'll explain things to you from the very beginning. Understanding the magic crest means understanding Magi. <sighs> Alright, you sit there, and it's an important lesson, so listen up. Here's fine? Alright, go ahead. I look into Tosaka's eyes with determination. She must appreciate my seriousness as she nods in satisfaction. Then I'll start off with something simple. You know that magical energy is what you need to use magic, right? You can actually refer to anything that can activate magic as magical energy. There's an infinite variety of magical energy. There are some that perform magic using their force of will, and there are some that use magic by paying a price other than themselves. You know this much, right? Yeah, um, you mean the mana large source and the odd small source right the large source is the magical energy in the world that fills nature the small source is the magical energy that people can create themselves that's right well done then let's start with magic that uses the large source okay magi without a long history like you shiro use something that already has form to make magical energy this is a method established as a process in ancient times, using offerings and rituals to make contact with the divine mystery. 
They prepare a price to pay since their powers are not sufficient. This is called the formal craft. This way, magic can be activated even if the caster's magical energy is sparse. This is because the magical energy used comes not from the caster, but from somewhere else, so the caster only needs to perform the ritual. But, well, <laughs> you can't do it if you don't have the knowledge. It's impossible for you right now, and anyway, such a bloody method doesn't suit you. Right. I also don't want to sacrifice a chicken or spend the whole evening praying in a magical circle. Right? Then putting that aside, next is the small source. So in other words, magic that is cast using the Magi's own power. I don't think I need to explain, but this is the basic use of magic for someone like you and me. Your strengthening is a magic that relies on your magic circuit, not, of bar not on borrowing anyone else's power, right? I nod. It seems the conversation is going into the main point. <laughs> so that part right there was like, pay attention, reader. Well, the function that creates magical energy for you, the magic circuit, is a heredity hereditary constitution. The magic circuit is trained over many generations and passed on to the descendants, becoming more powerful. The child of a Magi lineage is already fit to use magic just because of that. It's not fair, but it means we're different from the start. I know that. I don't care, so you can continue on. I don't really care either, but... Oh well. Anyways, other than that... This magic sir other than this magical circuit, there is also a secret magic that the family trains over the generations. It's kind of like that jewel earlier. Once one of the masters and magic a magus can put their hands on it, that magic. Once one, once one masters a magic, I don't understand the whole sense. Do you know the feeling of putting your hands on a magic that is naturally just formulas and has no shape? I certainly don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't know, but I assume it's like it's part of your body if you can put your hands on it. Exactly. The magic that goes beyond the level of formulas and becomes part of yourself can be left in a form. It is a great deed that establishes an unstable magic, and at the same time, it is proof that the Magus existed. And the Magus, on the verge of death, hands down this great accomplishment in a crest, like saying, I give you this to reach the realms I could not reach. Perhaps this crest I will give you might offer some help. Well, the one handing it down and the one receiving both know the crest is of no help, though. What? It's such a great crest, and yet it's useless? It is useful. If you're a normal magus, it's so useful that one crest will provide you ease and comfort. But, well, it's... Like inheriting a car, no matter how fast you can travel on the ground, you can never reach the moon. It doesn't matter, so let's get back to the topic at hand. I think you already know by now, but this crest is the magic crest. The head of the family puts the magic he devotes his life into into that crest, excuse me, and passes it down. And the descendant completes another magic, another magic increasing the crest and passes it on again. It grows more complex like that, and a deep history is engraved into it. That's the Magic Crest, a chain that the Magus cannot free themselves from. So, everything about the family is recorded in that Magical Crest. Uh, that's wrong. The record of the family is naturally left on paper. Only magic is in the Magic Crest. It can cast spells automatically, and allow you to use magics that you have not acquired yet. To put it simply, it's like carving a magic circle onto your body. That doesn't... That doesn't that mean you can carve the crest on anyone? You can draw a magic circle as many times as you want if you know the shape of it? That's... not the way it works. The magic crest is like a living thing. It's almost like transplanting organs. There's usually only one of an organ, so you can't give it away to numerous people or make copies of it. There's no point in dividing the heart into two, right? Even if you even if you separate it, it just stops functioning. Oh, huh. I see, you're right. And you had that crest transplanted into you, too. Uh, I guess the term transplant was a bad example. 
In my case, it's on my left arm from my shoulder to my hand, but the magical crest doesn't show up unless I use it, so there's no need to hide it unlike the command spell. So, well, that's why a family of Magi is succeeded by only one descendant. If the family happens to produce brothers or sisters, it is common for the rest of them to live normally without learning about magic. Since you can't give them the magic crest, there's not much point even if they succeed as a magus. Yeah, Shinji was saying that too. I see, so that's why they didn't teach Sakura? Yes, but the inheritance of the crest itself stopped a few generations ago in the Manto family, so I assume Shinji was only taught knowledge of magic. Really, that type are the most troubling. They can't feel magic, but they still try to use it. Cursing and a disappointment man- a disappointing ma I like how her bag in the background is red. <clears throat> I just thought that was uh, a little nice touch. A little nice? Yes. Cursing in a disappointment- disappointed manner, Tosaka takes a deep breath. <sighs> well, I was supposed to teach you magic, but the plans changed. I'll have to come up with a different plan if you don't have a magic crest. Yeah, let's call it quits for tonight. I'll prepare some things for tomorrow, so please wait until then. I can only agree, but what do you mean by preparing some things? Just some things. If you don't have a crest, you can't switch, right? We're going to tamper inside your body, so we need drugs and medical tools and things, and I'm gonna slice you open, Shiro. I'm gonna slice you open. I'm gonna cut your stomach open. We're gonna mess with some bits! Whoa, I really felt a chill there. What? I'll stop if you... I'll, so, I'll stop if you don't want to, but in that case, there'll be nothing I can teach you. Uh, no, I don't want to, but please. You're probably correct. Well, I don't know what she meant by the word switch, but I think the fact that I can do so is related to the fact that I always fail when trying to turn myself into a magic circuit. And tomorrow's plans, then tomorrow's plans is decided. Oh yeah, are you going to be training with Saber again tomorrow? Saber. Uh, yeah, I'm also worried about the boundary field at school, but there's still time until it's activated. I want to be able to fight at least a bit by then. Well, that's fine, but it seems you aren't getting along with Saber too well in spite of that. Uh, that's, uh... You guys were talking normally before dinner, but you've been silent since dinner time. I'm asking to make sure, but everything's alright between you two, right? If you guys disagree during a battle, I'm gonna suffer as well. Um, it's just that there was a small thing before dinner, and it's just a bit awkward. That's all, but things... Uh, but are things really all that right between me and Saber? Well, I think I know a bit about Saber, having been trained by her all day. I can trust Saber as an ally, that's that's absolute, but if you ask me how I think of her beyond that, I can't readily answer. First of all, I... All my proper emotions were stolen away, stolen away at that instant. That's a difficult question. How about you, Tosaka? Do you like Seba? Sorry, I was drinking some fine wine, people. I like her. There's no reason not to like her. She's strong, well-mannered, and beautiful. She's so different from my cynical... She's so different from my cynical guy. Oh, she's talking about... Uh, Archer. I was like, what? <laughs> I see, so you like Seba. What? I, I just said she's the kind of person I like. You stop saying... You should stop saying things so directly. You'll make more enemies that way. I refuse. I hate being indirect like you. I'm a poor talker by nature. I assume so. You don't seem like the kind of... You don't seem like the kind to be sarcastic or cynical. Yeah, I, I bet you think of me as loud, annoying person, right? Why? I like the way you say things. It, would, it wouldn't seem like you if you weren't like that. Oh, someone's about to blush! Yeah. Look at that blush. That blush. 
Oh. Tosaka looks away from me unpleasantly. I might have angered her. Well, beyond that, I'm a bit happy right now since Tosaka said she likes Seba. <laughs>